Hi guys, from the this here, back again for another video on the channel. In this one then, another match preview, another game at the Swansea.com stadium, and another game where we're probably going to be disappointed yet again. Swan City then are home tomorrow at the Swansea.com stadium, like I just said, against Luton Town in the Hatters. So Swan City then currently sit 14th in the championship with 5 points. Luton Town currently sit in the relegation zone in 23rd place with 2 points. For Swan City then, our last game was a 2-2 draw at home to Millwall on Tuesday night. Now, I have no idea how this ended 2-0. Swans got off to a fantastic start and an early goal from Ryan Manning inside the first 60 seconds gives the Swans a 1-0 lead. Michael Obafemi doubled the lead then uh, 11 minutes later on the 12th minute. Swans had plenty Plenty more chances um, before Millwall scored their first one. Millwall hit the bar twice. Didn't really force Andy Fisher into any, you know, big saves. But, you know, a Ben Cabango own goal in the 93rd minute. And then a Nathan Wood own goal in the 95th minute rescued Millwall point. Again, we just can't seem to hold on to a lead at the moment. You know, we bring on the defensive sub tubes and it goes to pot. As soon as we can see the first one, we get kick off and kick it straight back to Millwall. We're probably one of the best sides in the division of keeping the ball. And when we do actually need to keep the ball in terms of trying to keep a lead, we just kick it straight back to Millwall and just invite the pressure. And then you've got Jimmy Patterson then punching the ball back onto the pitch, you know, not wasting time. Oh, I just couldn't believe it. And, you know, in situations like that, you just got, got to credit the opposition Millwall. You know, they didn't give up fighting. You know, they give everything towards the end. But for Swansea... We've got to see out that game a lot better. And even at 2-1, when they scored in the 93rd minute, we had a chance to make a 3-1. And Robert Fermi, you know, just made the wrong decision in the end. Just took too long on the ball. But yeah, we've got to improve from that. For Luton, a 2-0 away loss to Bristol City. Yeah, very poor performance in that one. Apparently, uh, you know, a lot of outrage from Luton fans. Not happy with the way they played Nathan Jones. Apparently berating the players as well. So, yeah, not... Uh, good to be a Luton fan at the moment. Uh, the last six games in between the two sides, there's been three wins. Uh, there's been one draw and two losses for Swan City. So a little bit of um, ups and downs in there. Luton do tend to have a decent game against us. And of course, last time we played Luton in uh, February, I believe they beat us 1 0 thanks to a Harry Cornick goal, where everyone remembers how Nathan Jones celebrated. So hopefully that can be a little bit of motivation for Russell Martin tomorrow. In terms of injuries, then, there's two confirmed injuries with Liam Walsh still recovering from a long term injury he suffered in pre season. And there's a new one, Joel Latabordia. Of course, he went off against Millwall on Tuesday night, and it's been confirmed that he's going to be out until after the World Cup in December. Big, big blow. Look, I'm not a massive fan of that body, I've got to be honest. I don't rate him that highly compared to other players. But one thing about that body, he gives everything and he can be a very utilised player and can play in several positions in the back line. So, yeah, it's a huge blow. Um, from what I've read, that Russell Martin is still seeking clarification from the owners to sign a right back. I'm sorry, what? We've got no right back, boys. I'm sorry, Norton is 30, what, 34 now? You can't just rely on a 34-year-old to play right back at this division, you know. Look at some of the players Luton have in terms of their pace. Adebayo, Carlton Morris. If no one plays right back, it's going to get destroyed tomorrow night. So, yeah, you know, we've got to sign a right back. And I just find it a joke that Martin's got to seek clarification. We're desperate. We're absolutely desperate. Um, and, of course, Jamie Patterson might be fit tomorrow. We'll wait and see for Luton. And then I'll feed out the Fred on your team. Pele Ruddock Impanzu is apparently out injured, which is uh, good news for us. Then I've got an opposition fan on Lewis Williams. He's been on the channel plenty of times before, so I'm sure you guys already know who Lewis Williams is. Very, very good content creator, trying to you know get into the media industry, so he's doing great work on that front. So, yeah, his link will be down below. Make sure you subscribe to him and let's see what Lewis has to say about the game tomorrow. Hello guys, my name is Lewis Williams and I am a Luton Town content creator. My thoughts on Luton season is basically we're just not clicking at the moment and because we're not clicking it's resulting in our performances not being the best. We're not getting wins at all. We still haven't got a win so far this season. Obviously the longer this goes the worse it does get but I don't I'm not actually worried right now um, at this moment in time. I just believe it just needs to start clicking especially going forward. We need to test other teams goalkeepers a lot more and we need to start scoring goals once we get that under under the way and our, all of our strikers get a goal in, goal in them i think goals will come and wins will come um will that happen against swansea who who knows but the key players for us to look out for is um elijah adebayo every time he scores in the championship we do not lose that's a record which still 
continues. Um, and then you've got our midfield creativity with um, Clark and Freeman as well. And then you've got our captain, Sonny Bradley, at the back. Um, I think defensively, there's no issues with Luton. It's just going forward with the goals. But yeah, my score prediction, if I had to predict, I reckon it's going to be a boring nil-nil. Luton, we do love a 1-0 away win in Swansea, so fingers crossed we can do that. But if not, I'm going to go with a boring 0-0. Thank you very much, Lewis, for coming on, mate. Really appreciate his link will be down below. In terms of the lineup, then, Andy Fisher in goal, the wing-backs being Matty Sorinola and Ryan Manning. Look, I don't really want Sorinola to play, but there's no one else to play, unfortunately. You could say play Tivon Drasesha in the end 23s, but again, he's injured. So, yeah, we've got no luck at that right-back position at the moment. Back three, Ben Cabango, Carl Norton, Harry Darling, Joe Allen, Matt Grimes in midfield. By the way, Joe Allen, a fantastic game on Tuesday night. And similar to Oxford, where as soon as one of our best players went off in Joe Allen this time, who went to pot again. And in the front three then, Joel Perot, who, let's be honest, has not been great so far this season. Michael Obafemi and Olivia Encham, who surprisingly actually did very well from the start for one. So hopefully he can have another good game tomorrow from the start. My score prediction... Look, I got robbed Tuesday. I said 2-0 Swans. It should have been 2-0. So, you know, I got robbed on that front. But yeah, I'm going to go 0-0. Nil -nil. Um, yeah, I think Luton will be tight trying to counter-attack using the pace of Adebayo and, you know, Calder Morris, uh, Harry Cornick, players like that. But yeah, just don't see there being a goal. Uh, in terms of score predictions from last game week against Millwall, there was zero correct score predictions and no shout-outs for anyone. If you want to shout on the next match preview, which will be Middlesbrough, uh, the next match preview next Friday, then get your score predictions down below. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all your support at the moment. Like I said, a lot of content coming out to your subscriptions to the channel. I'll appreciate it. And like I said, they are free to do. Subscribe to Lewis Williams as well. Gain your score predictions down below. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the match vlog. And let's hope the Swans don't bottle a lead for once.